So we know networking is critical to a successful job search and that networking with recruiters is particularly important. And we know that LinkedIn is a great tool to help us network with recruiters. But how do we use LinkedIn to find recruiters, the right recruiters to connect and network with and avoid turning this whole thing into a virtual spin the bottle? Kamara Toflo here, resume writer, LinkedIn consultant, job search strategist, and LinkedIn top voice who helps established professionals dare to do work differently and land great fitting gigs. Recruiters have areas of specialization. They might recruit for a certain industry, profession, grouping of professions, and so on. So when we're searching for recruiters to reach out to, we don't want to go for an everyone and their mother approach. We want to run refined searches in order to as closely as possible pinpoint the recruiters that we should give a virtual tap on the shoulder to and build a relationship with. And there's no better place than LinkedIn to do so. So let's say I'm totally qualified for and have applied to the senior mechanical engineer role in spacecraft design for Project Kuiper at Amazon. I know that with an employer like Amazon, they're bound to get hundreds to thousands of applications. And by reaching out to and building a relationship with a recruiter, I will increase my odds of getting noticed considerably because recruiters want to speak to and hire people who want to work for their company or their clients. But how do we actually go about finding the right recruiters to reach out to? Let's dive in. So first what we'll do is we'll go to the Amazon company page. Once there, we'll click on the people tab. Once on the people tab, in order to find the right recruiter or few recruiters to reach out to, we really need to narrow down this 739,000 employee pool down to the right number or a manageable number. Now, of course, we could look at who we're connected with already at Amazon and ask someone who we might already have an active relationship with if they could make an employee referral for the senior mechanical engineer role. And that is a great option for something to do as well. But we want to get to the job posting quarterback, the recruiter. Come on, Kamara, stop using sports analogies for sports you have no idea about. So we're going to really focus on the people tab here. For smaller companies, I would recommend starting your search with something like recruiter or talent acquisition as the main search term. But in this case, we're dealing with a global company, so we want our search terms to be as refined as possible. Now, the reason I like going through the people tab on company pages, as opposed to just using the search bar to search, is because when we're in the people tab, we can quickly see if our search terms are on the right track. So let's give this a shot. I know that I want to reach out to a recruiter. So if I just type recruiter in the search field and hit enter, that brings the 739,000 employee pool down to 9,600 employees. We're definitely on the right track here. Now, I also know that I want to reach out to somebody who's part of the Project Kuiper team. So I'll enter that search term as well. But this didn't reduce the search results any further. So I'll need to try something else. And instead of doing recruiter separately and project Kuiper separately, I will clear this out and type in recruiter project Kuiper instead and see what we get. And boom, down to 41 people. A lot of the searching is trial and error, but keep an eye on the numbers. You want to get to the lowest number possible to make sure you're increasing the chances of reaching out to the right person. So now that we're at 41, I think this is a very manageable number and it's a good time to take a look at our results. But before we take a look at the results, one other thing that we know about applying to an engineering job in this case is that it's a technical job. 
So while many of the recruiter results we're about to see could be good matches, even better matches would be recruiters who state they are technical or tech recruiters. So when we take a look at the results, we can pop into a few of these profiles and take a bit of a look around because in many of these profiles, you might get a hint of what the recruiter is actually recruiting and hiring for based on their activity or their featured section. Like in this recruiter's case, who happens to be hiring for a senior electromagnetic environmental effects engineer, whew, alliteration, not quite the senior mechanical engineer and spacecraft design that we applied to, but we're definitely on the right track here. So different recruiters feature their open opportunities in different ways. Recently, LinkedIn added a feature that is the opposite of the open to work feature and is called the hiring feature. So as we can see on Amy Miller's LinkedIn profile, she's got the hiring banner, and then she's also got a section that shows what she's hiring for. So if we click on that, we can see what Amy has open, and here's the senior mechanical engineer spacecraft design, the exact role that we applied to. So we know that Amy is exactly the right recruiter to reach out to about the job that we applied to. Now we won't get this perfect every single time. And the other recruiters who we looked at could be the right recruiters to reach out to even if they aren't advertising the job to which we applied. They should still be receiving networking messages from us. And speaking of networking messages, what should we actually write when we send a connection request and when we message these recruiters that we want to network with? Well, there will be more on that in an upcoming video. If you'd like to be alerted of when that video drops, make sure to subscribe to my channel. As you know, I make a lot of videos, but I also make free guides to help you in your job search. If you'd like to get my free cover letter guide and checklist or my free post interview, thank you messages, guide and templates, you can download them by signing up for them. The links are in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. It helps me help more people. And also feel free to share it with a friend as well as make sure to click on my face right smack in the middle of your screen right now to subscribe and I will see you next time.